happening guys welcome back to another video on the channel so today we're going to go over a few more tips and tricks when you're working with 5.1 surround sound so if you didn't see last week's video on how to create a 5.1 surround sound project click up here i'll leave a link to it you can go check that out first but as you're working through some of these projects uh, there's some things you might come across so i've got a few more tips here just to help you get going and work with your surround sound especially if it's your first time doing it or you're just getting used to working in surround sound and like i mentioned in my other video i don't use it all that much either so some of these things are helpful to know when you're getting started with it so the first tip that i have here for you and it's something i mentioned in the other video too is that youtube does not support 5.1 surround sound now i didn't know this and i created my video last week uploaded it and i was going to check it out you know make sure everything looks pretty good and whatnot right but i played through the video and when it got to the surround sound part I didn't hear anything there was nothing it was like radio silence right nothing going on so i thought that was a little strange did a little research and discovered that youtube does not support 5.1 surround sound so when i exported that video it did have a surround sound track on it so i actually had to change it for that video to be all stereo so that way you could hear all the parts of the video once i uploaded it to youtube so i'll show you how we can fix that in just a little bit but first let's get to a few more tips in davinci resolve here that might just help you out as you're getting started working with 5.1 surround sound clips so let's jump in resolve and uh, check it out all right so here we are in davinci resolve i've got last week's project up this is the walking where we panned around the sound of me walking to different channels in our 5.1 soundtrack so if you're lucky enough to have surround sound speakers for your computer i'm going to show you how we can get davinci resolve to use those speakers so if you come up to the DaVinci Resolve menu up here and we come down to preferences, inside the preference window, we wanna stay under system here and come down to video and audio. Now, when we're in this section, if we come down to speaker setup, you do have some options here. So here you have speaker configuration and typically I just leave it on use system settings and that works for me. But you notice down here, it says monitor set format and it has stereo. Well, what if you have surround sound? Well, you click this little drop down here and if we go to manual, you see, now we've got different options on things that we can select. So you've got your monitor sets here. You have your device. Now, if you have a different setup here, you can select that. For example, my Yeti has headphone jack on it, so I could use that. But if you had a surround sound system, I'm assuming it would appear here. And then down here, monitor set format, you can change that to 5.1. And that's going to make sure that your 5.1 surround sound speakers that you might have hooked up to your computer are working and doing what they're supposed to do. So changing the preferences here are going to make sure that your surround sound speakers are working in DaVinci Resolve here if you actually have surround sound speakers. So here's another tip if you've got a file that is already a 5.1 surround sound file. So for example, last week I created that little clip of me walking and I exported that as a 5.1 surround sound clip. Now I need to take that example and bring it into the file where I'm making the YouTube video that I posted last week. So when you bring that file in, it's already 5.1 surround sound. So what I wanna do is actually drop the audio for that clip onto a 5.1 surround sound audio track. So let's jump into Resolve and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So this is the whole video that I created for last week that I posted on YouTube. This has all the examples and everything in it that we needed. So if I scroll down through my audio tracks here, you see I've got my different vocal tracks, effects, music, and some of these are in stereo designated by the number two here. And then I have a bunch of mono tracks here that I used for additional surround sound audio. And then I have a track here that is 5.1 surround sound. So because that file I already rendered is in 5.1 surround sound, when I dump it into this project, I wanna put it on a track that's 5.1 surround sound. So looking back here at DaVinci Resolve, this track you can tell by the 5.1 here is already a surround sound track. And if I come over to my mixer and I scroll over, you can see it's a 5.1 track and we've got the different channels within that track here. So I'm at my clip here with the example from last week. And if I play through it, you're gonna see we already have each one of these channels active because that clip is already exported in surround sound. So that's the tip right there. If you have a file that's already exported as 5.1 surround sound and you bring it into another project, for example, like I did here, you wanna make sure that your audio track is set to 5.1. And then you'll be able to read all those channels that are already part of that clip. So the next tip that I have for you here is just kind of following up on how to export your project. So I showed an example last week when we exported our project with just the footsteps, we exported it in only 5.1. So if we jump over into the deliver tab here real quick, and I click on my job that I rendered from last week, you'll see right here, I have one output track and that's main 5.1. 
Now, I can have that 5.1 track because this particular clip, it's only 5.1. There's no other audio associated with it. But where we need to do something a little bit different is when we have more than just a 5.1 surround sound track. Say you've got some stereo tracks and uh, maybe some mono tracks. And that was the case when I created the entire video for last week. So let's jump back over here in Resolve. And if we come back to my actual video from last week, like we already saw, I've got all kinds of different tracks. I've got a few stereo tracks, a few mono tracks, and this 5.1 surround sound track. So if we jump back into the deliver page, when you're going to deliver your project, you have to have more than just your one 5.1 main out. You also need to include your stereo out. So you would come here, click on your plus, and you would add in your main one for stereo. And that's because you're gonna have your talking points and other tracks that are only gonna be in stereo. You don't need them in 5.1 surround sound and they're set up in stereo already. So you need to make sure that you have the stereo main selected as one of your outputs. And remember, you can have as many outputs as you want, but to get both stereo and 5.1, you need to have both of those selected. So the final tip that I have here for you is that if you're going to export your project, let's say you've got some tracks that are surround sound and you have some that are stereo, maybe even mono, and let's say you're gonna upload it to YouTube but you need to keep those surround sound tracks in there because maybe your client, for example, wants the surround sound. But you know that YouTube doesn't play nice with surround sound, so you actually need to export it for stereo. So how do we assign our buses and make sure that our project gets exported in stereo, but that we also retain all that 5.1 surround sound info? So let's jump back to Resolve. I'm gonna show you how you would adjust your bus sends to be able to get a stereo output even though you've got 5.1 surround sound tracks in it. So we're back in the Fairlight tab here and we wanna come up to Fairlight and Bus Assign. If you remember from last week, this is where we took a look at assigning our different tracks to our different main buses. So just to recap, we have our main stereo out on the left and on the right, we have our main 5.1 output. And if we look down at our tracks, you can see I've assigned certain tracks to come out of the main stereo and I have other tracks assigned to come out of the 5.1 surround sound. Now, if we're in a situation where we created surround sound tracks, but we need to export everything in stereo because, for example, YouTube doesn't support surround sound, how do we do that? Well, what you want to do is actually assign all of your tracks to your main stereo. So you can just click on your main and then come down to assign all. And you'll see now in the tracks that originally were just that 5.1 main out, which would be M2, now we have an M1. So when we go to export this project, we can export all of our tracks in stereo. Now you'll still get some panning to the left and to the right, but you're not going to get the surround sound that you created. So you can go ahead and click save on that window when you're done there. And then jumping back into the delivery page, when you go to export your project, you want to make sure that you have both of these selected. And actually, if you're exporting for YouTube, you don't even need the 5.1 main out because YouTube can't read that anyway. So you can actually remove that and just use the main stereo output. And this way, when you export your file, YouTube's gonna be able to read all of it and you'll get something similar to that video I posted last week. So I know all this can seem a little bit confusing. There's a lot going on here. And I'm sure as you try to work through projects where you're trying to create the 5.1 surround sound, you're gonna have questions, things are gonna come up. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. One more thing I wanted to mention here is maybe you don't wanna create a full 5.1 surround sound. Maybe you just wanna pan between your stereo speakers, you know, your left, your right, maybe have the sound go from one side to the other or just stay on one side. So you can use the pan feature to do just that, pan in the stereo mode. So let's jump in Resolve. I'm just gonna show you how to do that real quick. And you can keep it in mind, just another tool to have in your bag in case you don't wanna create a full 5.1 surround sound. You can just do a little panning. So back in the Fairlight tab here, if we look in our mixer, you have pan. And in order to pan a track, all you have to do is grab your little blue dot here and just bring it to the left or to the right. And that'll pan to that particular speaker for your stereo tracks. And if we jump back into the Edit tab here, you come and open the inspector, you also have the option to pan here. So I'm gonna select an audio clip, and right here we have clip pan. And here you can even keyframe it. So you can pan to the left, to the right. You can keyframe it so that your clip starts on the left, goes to the center, and comes to the right if you want. 
So it's just another tool that you can use to move the sound around in your videos. So I hope these couple extra tips were helpful. If you have more questions, like I said, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to help you out. But 5.1 surround sound, it's cool stuff. It takes a little getting used to when you're working with it and how to get things to export. And keep in mind, YouTube doesn't support it. So don't bother trying to do it for YouTube because at least at the filming of this video, which is August 4th, 2020, YouTube doesn't support 5.1 surround sound. I'm sure they will at some point in the future, but we'll worry about that when we get there. So I want to thank you guys for watching and checking out this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some merch if you're interested in that. And uh, maybe check out some of these other videos I'll post up over here on the side. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.